Hi everyone, today I will go over Pictorial 4. I'll show you what are the new features and I will show you the new pricing model. You may be wondering if you want to upgrade or if you want to buy the piece of software, well this video may help you out. So without further ado, let's take a look at the pricing model then we'll go and take a look at the software. Here I am on the Pictorial website. I'm gonna go and press the pricing tab and I'll show you. Uh, Pictorial is now free. So you'll be limited what you can do with it though. That being said, it's uh, you don't get the full software for free, but you, at least you can try and work with it for a while and see if you wanna spend the money. So there's three options of what you can uh, pay for. You can have a premium account for $5 a month if you pay uh, for a year and I give you the software, uh, the full software, and also all the future updates. So basically, if uh, Pictorial 5 comes up, I presume you would get uh, a new uh, version of Pictorial at not no cost, but at the cost of $5 a month. Now, you do have the option to pay monthly if you do not want to commit for a full year, but it's $10 a month, and it's the same idea. Or you can buy Pictorial 4 for $70, and that will only give you the uh, maintenance updates only. Okay, so that's that for pricing. Now let's dive into Pictorial 4. So as you can tell, uh, if you're familiar with Pictorial 3, it looks very similar. Now there is a few new uh, features that are worth mentioning and I'll try to go through them fairly quick. And first come first, they have changed a bit of the library or that give you a little bit more options in the library. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close those side panels here. I am into that folder of that Victoria sh shoot that I've done the other afternoon. So you can tell there, I can scroll, you see my photos. Now, one thing they've done, if you go to view, you can change the thumbnails layout to squares instead of classic. So by doing that, you don't no longer have the uh, portrait or landscape uh, view. So let me revert that to classic. Then you'll see that here I have some portrait image and landscape. So if you go back to your uh, squares, obviously you lose that aspect. But if you want to, you can just zoom out a little bit. So with smart thumbnails, which is uh, command shift minus key there, I'm gonna go as far as we can go. And then you can see whenever uh, my computer catch up here that you can take a look at a whole lot of images uh, in one single page. You can even like minimize this and retake a look at a whole lot. So if you want to and you're like me, you can choose the classic and then the command shift plus button will bring you back to the maximum. So that's one uh, thing they came up with is the view. Another thing they came up with, which I find was uh, lacking a little bit in pictorial three and I'm very happy that they uh, address is a little bit more refined searching mechanism into the software. So if I go and let's say take uh, an image of this road in the building there, what I can do here is I can rate this image with a star. Let's say we'll give it a two star. Let's say I like this image. I like this image as well. We'll rate it two star. So now I have two images that I chose that have a two star rating. What I can do as well is say that one display uh, the road. So I can write road in the caption and we'll do that as well with this one. Road and then this one says it's about the road too. So in the caption, we'll go and say road as well. So the reason why I've been doing this is this. Now what you can do in the search option, you can search and say, I want every photo that have road into the caption. So by just searching road in there, uh, Pictorial will do his thing and look at the image that says road. So now I wrote three time road, here they are. But some image also uh, had the rating of two star. So if you write before rating, oh, it didn't work. I write rating two and road. What's gonna happen is now, Pictorial is gonna look for the one that I have rated as a two star and the one that had the actual caption wrote on there. 
So you can really see now, it really works. So you get the two images that are two star and the one that says road, the one that only had road, no stars, it's not showing up there. So you can really tailor your search and it work very well and then it can make a world of difference if you have thousands of photos. But now you're gonna tell me if you have thousands of photos, it could be a little time consuming to go around and write road in all those images. Well, one thing that Pictorial came up with is a batch uh, process for metadata as well as a batch process for adjustment. So let me show you what I mean by batch process for metadata. So I'll choose this image that says road on it. I'll go to edit. I'm gonna say copy metadata. And now what I can do is click on the next image here and choose all the ones that have are similar there. Hold the shift key and click and select all the image. You can tell they're selected by that little um, purple border. So I'll go back to edit and I'm gonna paste the metadata. So what's gonna happen here is uh, Pictorial is gonna choose those images that I chose and then it's gonna apply the road caption to all of them. So now if I go back, I can tell now it says road on there. So if I come around, instead of having three images that have the road caption, if I search, then you'll see I have a lot more images now that have a road caption on it. So that's the batch metadata. If you do write anything there, you can add to your searches and it can be done fairly quickly as you can tell. So another thing there that's great as well, so we're gonna to revert to a folder, is like I was saying, you can do batch adjustments. So let's say if I go to my adjust here and I find this photo is too cool, I wanna make it a little warmer, so I'm gonna change my temperature here. So what I can do is go to edit, copy the adjustments, and then I can go and choose, let's say, the next three images, go to edit, and I can paste the adjustments. So what's gonna happen here is all the images will have the same temperature now. So I was able to change the temperature of the image by doing batch adjustments. So this is great, you can work very fast then you, all you gotta do is your local adjustments after that and it works super good as well. So that's another great thing that they've changed. Now, if you were to edit another new feature that they have, we'll close this tab here, we're done, we're done with this. And then it's called the assistant viewing. So there's a little A and B there. So we're gonna take this and then we get this image there. Let's say we're gonna take this image here and then, oh, we are back to somewhere else. Well, well, well. Okay, let's scroll back up. Okay, 5609, we're gonna come here and we're gonna choose 5609 as well. So I think it's this one. So I chose the same image and I'm gonna close this. And the reason being is this. So if you do retouching for faces or anything like that, what I really like about this is you're gonna come around here and then you can zoom on one of the image. So let's say this one. And now I have a global view of my image on the left and I have a zoom in image of this on the right. So let's say if I go to my retouch panel there, I wanna sharpen and I wanna sharpen this building. So I'm gonna go around and add value of sharpening to this. And then basically what we're gonna do is like do some sharpening here. So if you're not too sure what it looked like in general with the global adjustment of your image, you can go around and take a look on the left. It's real time. Basically, if I just change this curve there, you'll see like whatever change that I do, it's real time. So you can see from a distance a little bit what you do into uh, the global image versus the actual zoom in part. So if you do uh, touching of a person, whatever it is, and you wanna see the difference sometimes, it's probably best to use this. And you can really, make it super easy and super nice. So that was another great feature they added. And here we have it. So that's a lot of the new features. So just to recap there, you have like the options to change your thumbnails a little bit, the library is a little better. You get some way, way smarter ways to uh, look at your photos. Now you can batch edit and you can batch change your metadata. So that's huge as well. And you get 
this new viewer assistant or assistant viewer I should say where you can zoom in on the image or if you want to take a look at the image before and then take a look at the image next to it so two different images to see sometimes which one is the best so by having that you can have a lot of different um, options a lot of flexibility so those were the major changes into pictorial 4 else then they worked on the engine and it's a little faster and it's better and it's new raw files that are are available to work with and all that stuff so uh, they're fixing bugs non-stop they're coming up with new version because that pictorial 4 came out so a few things that starts on now at version 4.0.3 at the moment this is what you were looking at so there will be a new version i'm sure coming up pretty soon so this is it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Pictorial at all, uh, I've done some tutorials, I've done some reviews, as well as I've done a course how to use it um, from uh, pretty much like everything. So if you would like to see uh, how to edit some images as well, I do that as well. So it's on my website if you want to take a look at manuelmartelphotorefi.com. And um, this is it. So hopefully that answered a lot of questions about the software or what's the difference between three and four. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're, you make your mind if you want to upgrade or if you want to buy in or if you're happy with Pictorial 3 as well. So give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video. If you didn't like it, you can also subscribe to my channel. I'll come up with regular uh, new tutorials and things like that and reviews. And if you have any comments or questions or anything you want me to cover, please leave that in the comment section below and I'll do my best to uh, respond and to cover whatever you want me to cover if I can. All right, thanks for watching and uh, I wish you a good day and we'll see you next time.